Hey guys, gonna be stepping through the Glovender G360 platform. Let's get started here. So first and foremost, my name is Mike Bohm. I am the product manager of the Glovender G360 command center product. You might be asking yourself, what exactly are we talking about today? Glovender G360 command center is a platform intended to simplify the complex web of communication, information sharing, and project management associated with sourcing new products. It is intended to provide meaningful information just in time to those looking to purchase goods, as well as their supply chain partners and our in-house network. So what does that actually mean? Let me show you a little bit in action. So imagine I'm a travel blogger with hundreds of thousands of followers. I have a lot of acumen in garnering new likes and follows, but my fans keep requesting that I launch my own surf line since I'm always at the beach and always talking about surfing. And I don't know the first thing about sourcing solutions. I definitely want to be able to meet their need. I want to be able to bring my products to market, expand my portfolio, build upon myself as an entrepreneur, but I don't know what I need to do. So I start Googling around and I learned about Glovender sourcing services platform that not only guides me through the process of sourcing my product, but provides me with a unified technology platform to communicate and managing the sourcing process. Simultaneously, this product teaches me about sourcing along the way and provides me with the expertise and tools I need to order my product today and all of the products that I might want to order in the future. And so I'm interested. I visit the marketing page. I see a great big create your supply chain button and I click it and here's where I start. So once again, I am a influencer. I'm looking to create a surf line. I'm in here. I see fashion. Okay. That makes sense to me. What is my product though? Nothing in here necessarily immediately lends itself to surfing. So let's go with other. Okay. I can type in a little bit about my product. I want to make a neoprene vest with back zippers, something a little fashionable for my surf team. And I have something that I can share that's similar to the product that I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and click through. Immediately, I'm greeted with information that's starting to funnel me towards being able to make a decision about how to carry me forward as a customer. What makes me the best possible decisions to influence me and make sure that I'm making good decisions in customers. Do I have design work done for my product? I think I do at this point in time. So let's go ahead and click yes. It's pretty reaffirming that there are all of these different experts in this space. I, there's probably some custom zipper elements that I want to work in here. So maybe an industrial designer is somebody good to work with on really nailing that detail. And I definitely am on that Save the Planet project promotion here. Sustainable products engineer is probably somebody good to tag in as well. These are just experts that I can start taking a look at and really understand some of the space and get work for my product. So let's say I select a few people that I'm potentially interested in working with for now, or maybe I want to skip it until later. I can continue along. What are the different steps? Do I have a manufacturer in mind? How do I want to get samples ahead of time? Almost assuredly. I'm not necessarily selecting a vendor that I want to work with at this point in time, but I can start to see the types of vendors that are available to me. And generally speaking, is this somebody who works on premium products is going to charge a good amount of money to do it? Value budget in that range. Moving along, compliance needs. Sourcing needs are all different. I'm working on something that's apparel based maybe shipping over international lines. I may or may not know about this at this point in time. But it's good to know that I have these experts that I can draw on later should I have issues or questions or should I know already that I need somebody who's a quality inspector. And the intention of this information at the top of the page would be to reorganize your different vendors down below to really be working with. And it's valuable to know how other people rate these users as well as the fact that these people are within Glovender's trusted network as well. Something important to note here, there's a lot of people who are going to be coming to this with a lot of questions. We want to make sure that just understanding where they're at, getting a little bit of guidance and help is just a click away. And that's why we have this sort of help functionality down below. So continuing along, logistics, obviously ordering something implies that it's going to need to be shipped for me. Maybe I'm selecting a vendor overseas and I need freight and ocean shipping, or maybe I need my product in a few short days. And so I might be interested in air. Similar to our selectors before, all of this is just intended to help narrow that focus for users as they're moving through this process. Last but not least, and this is really Glovender secret sauce here, I've been going through this process and giving you a sense of my thought process here. I think I know some of the right answers, but I'm still iffy. I would really like somebody to help guide me through 
this whole solution. And that's really where Glovender's background as a sourcing agency is really going to shine here and provide strategic advantage in the marketplace. This isn't just a tool for you to manage these solutions, but to work with our teams to really create the best possible sourcing solution for you as a customer. So yes, I need an expert. This is a general volume I can expect. Let's go ahead and continue on. Beautiful. Right away, my overarching command center is being put together. Let's see what happens here. Welcome to Glowvendor. It's a nice little message. Okay. So stepping back from the example that we were talking about before, obviously that was a very pointed onboarding flow, specifically around somebody who might be selecting, say, beach apparel or something along those lines. This is a more generic view of a built product, let's say for somebody who's trying to source golf balls as a capability. This is the holistic G360 command center view. Let's see here. What do I want to talk about today? So first things first, this is an empty state supply chain creation. So should a user select to build more supply chains in the future, each sort of individual starting point would look like this. And there's always going to be four workspaces that take place no matter what. Design and engineering, manufacturing, compliance, and logistics. And you can think of these as bundles of work or rooms where you can really coordinate with vendors and your supply chain expert, the execution of different details. So right now, just to highlight some of the elements that are on this page, we have high level alerts at the top related to the product itself, any sort of recent activity, statuses, timelines, the team that you might actually be working with, as well as sort of project scope. But let's say I've gotten to this point completely free, haven't had to sign up for anything. I'm really intrigued at this point. I want to go ahead and activate this design and engineering room. I click that button, and this is really the first entry point to funneling a customer towards being a paid customer within our system. So tell us about you, sign up, how'd you hear about us? Let's go ahead and move ahead. This gives you a better sense of a view where multiple rooms have been activated. There's lots of activity going on, probably in these manufacturing and compliance spaces. You can start to see the project team that you're working with, track individual projects that are taking place, some of that recent activities filled out, have some of those communication channels that are open, which we'll get into a little bit later, and then the map view as well. Visualize your whole supply chain on a global scale. This is really just a high-level glance of a whole supply chain. You can think of it as the thousand-foot view of work where you want to go. But we want to make sure that it's easy for people to hop in and out of each of these tools as well and make sure that they can really get to pointed detail too for this planning. You'll notice that this room that we just showed, it hasn't been activated yet, design and engineering. We did take a user through an initial onboarding flow, but obviously there's going to be more questions and nuance that we need to be able to make really pointed decisions about where they stand. Do they have technical documentation? Yeah, I do, but I'd like to work with somebody on it. I have some completed documentation and sketches, or I'm just not sure. This helps us on the back end make decisions for these customers. Let's skip ahead a little bit about what might this look like completely in flight. So we've already gotten those users' questions answered. We've already got experts matched, projects are in flight. This work is ongoing. So this room has been completely activated. People have been brought in. They're starting to have communications. You can really see that this is the highest level of sort of individual planning within the space. So this is the design and engineering room. You can see actions as a user that are requiring your attention. You can make requests of other vendors who are in your space or your supply chain expert. Notice that our previous sort of interaction for chat from before for support has been replaced with this quick pass through to a supply chain expert. You can choose who sees all the information that a room might have or really just narrow it down. It's tiers of control that a user has over the ecosystem and project planning that they have here. At This is the 100 foot view. When you think about the full supply chain view is the 1000 foot. A user can really hit the road in detail and planning and nuance within projects though. So this is the design room. All of these projects are based on the design space and the communication around them. So golf ball design is in progress. You can, at a very rapid glance, see the status of how this work is taking place, any actions that are being requested of you at detailed level, as well as requests that you have made as well. Get more nuanced in the project collaborators that you're working with and share and upload documentation here as well. Now, one thing that I definitely want to call everybody's attention to is this floating page design at the top. We've mirrored this through a lot of different spaces, but you'll notice your communication button here to begin chats, follow up on chats, similar to a, a Facebook or modern social design. We wanted to mirror some of that capability. 
adjust the actual statuses themselves as you're tracking projects and thinking through things. This would be manageable by both the supply chain expert and the user themselves. And this changes contextually based on where a user is within the experience. For example, on the absolute top view, you might have search just to be able to search across the capability, messaging, and then high level notifications and alerts. Let's see here. There's still a lot of nuance and detailed interaction that we're working on. Obviously, there's a lot of feedback that we're trying to get from users here. We're trying to make the best and most smart decisions about the way to manage some of these smaller details of the product moving forward. You can see that this tool is a supply chain project management solution with guided support. And from that standpoint, it's really the perfect evolution of the agency that Glowvendor was into the technology platform that it's becoming in the future. It not only creates a self-service platform for more experienced supply chain creators to self-manage their process, but for inexperienced users as well, it allows our team and the vendors the ability to reduce the manual tasks and information required, like that gathering process to be able to support those customers and really help them and enable them in this process. Our tool creates an environment of collaboration for our customers looking to source their products, as well as the selected vendors within our network and our in-house supply chain experts as well, while giving all parties the ability to collaborate and solution in a unified platform. And that is just not something that anybody else is doing right now. We're really excited about this tool and the future that the Glowvendor G360 Command Center platform has, and we hope you guys are as well. Thank you.